channel or if you are new to my channel thanks so much for clicking on this video today we are going to be doing a whole 30 grocery haul for those of you that don't know I am currently on day 11 of the whole 30 diet it is a restrictive elimination type diet that is 30 days long so I am on day 11 of that I did a grocery haul for you guys the week before last and I didn't do one last week because it was a huge haul, so I didn't need to pick up that many things. This is a medium-sized haul, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the different items that I picked up from my local grocery store, just to give you guys some ideas on things that you can grab. And I also wanted to share with you some of the meals that I'm planning on making this week and some of the reasons why I picked up these specific items. So let's go ahead and get on into the first things that we picked up at the grocery store. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with the fruits that I picked up this week. I know that this is probably going to look like a ton of fruit and you do need to eat fruit in very small moderations because of the high amount of natural sugars and calories, but my kids do eat a lot of these fruits with me and it does absolutely help when I'm having a sweet tooth. So I'm gonna start off here just to kind of show you everything that I picked up. So I did get two bunches of bananas and what I like to do since I do share these with my kids is I will get one bunch of bananas that is already ready to eat and super vibrant yellow like this and then the second bunch of bananas that I'll pick up are these kind of green semi green maybe like they'll be ready to start eating in a few days because that gives us enough time to get through the first bunch of bananas and then we don't have to make a run to the grocery store for my daughter when we've ran out. And I also picked up a bag of green grapes. These are the white seedless organic and these are absolutely delicious. So sweet and fresh, but they are pretty expensive. I think I paid $8 for these, which is insane here in Washington state. It is September right now. And I just feel like this is a lot of money, but fruit is just kind of an expense and these are delicious. So totally worth the price for me in my opinion. I did pick up two containers of blueberries. I like to wash and rinse my blueberries and then I actually like to store them in my freezer. I feel like they're really, really delicious that way. They preserve a lot longer in the freezer and my son really loves them that way as well. So I can always just pop them out and like defrost them for a few minutes or put them on top of like my kids' waffles or I will make a nice little medley of like strawberries and blueberries for myself if I'm having a sweet tooth. So can't go wrong with these. These were also kind of expensive. They were $7 a pint, which is pretty high, but fruit is getting pretty expensive right about now. So I went ahead and invested because we do eat these all quite a bit. And then on the berries, I also did pick up this carton of strawberries. Again, strawberries are just like an essential here in my house. I absolutely love them. They're so good and sweet and they really help me when I'm having a sweet tooth. And I also picked up two containers of these little grape tomatoes and these are great for like salads I like to another fruit that I picked up are these pitted dates and this is actually a local packaged dates for my grocery store which made them a super good price I picked up dates last week and I feel like I paid $7.99 for them this because they were packed in my local grocery store was only four dollars and fifty cents which you cannot beat I will use some of these dates to make like some whole 30 approved sweets I know that they discourage you from having desserts on the whole 30 diet but mama's got to make it through her weekly cycle with the girlfriend that makes her crave all kinds of chocolate and things so i am all about doing what i need to so that i don't cheat on the diet and if by having a few whole 30 like sweet or dessert options around using dates and almonds and raisins and things like that I will go ahead and do that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing any Whole30 dessert options because I would love to film that for you. So now I'm gonna show you all of the vegetables that I picked up. On the Whole30 diet, you eat a ton of vegetables, so I did go ahead and pick up a lot of those, so I'll just go ahead and run you through really quickly everything that I got. So the first thing that I picked up was this bag of broccoli slaw. I figured that I could use this to make like egg roll in a bowl style dish. Something that I have on my meal plan this week that I really wanted to try and make, so I did pick up a bag of this uh, broccoli slaw and then I have a really fun salad that involves zucchini and cucumbers and these mung beans it's an Asian inspired pulled salad that you can top with chicken I'm definitely gonna be filming that for you guys in an upcoming what I eat on the whole 30 diet so make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss this mung green is kind of like a watercress 
texture. It's like a bean sprout kind of, um, but it's Whole30 approved because it is mung bean. And these are really good. They're nice, they give you a nice crunch, um, a nice refreshing texture. So I love using mung beans and this recipe that I'm planning on using them for is going to be really good. So you don't want to miss out on that. So I also picked up some herbs. So I did pick up this bunch of cilantro, which I am planning on just putting in a glass of water and leaving it on my window seal. I also picked up this hydroponic basil plant and this is super cool because all you have to do is add a little bit of water to it and leave it on your seal and apparently it is supposed to just grow and I will have basil for quite a while. I also picked up some green onions and I also picked up some bell peppers. I just picked up a red and two green bell peppers for some different recipes that I have this week that are planned. And then of course I picked up two cucumbers and two two zucchinis. This is also going to be a part of that Asian inspired salad that's going to use these two ingredients and those mung bean sprouts. So I'm excited about that. I eat a ton of cucumbers and a ton of zucchinis on this diet throughout the week. I like to make zoodles and different things like that. So love these guys. I picked up this huge thing of ginger because I have a couple of Asian inspired dishes that call for ginger as a recipe. You can also use this in like teas. I also picked up some of these sweet potatoes. These are the nice deep colored orange ones and I absolutely love, 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 love when sweet potatoes are this rich deep orange color. I feel like these have the best flavor and I absolutely love these when they're cooked. And then of course I just picked up an onion and then I also picked up a package of celery which is great to snack on. It's really nice and healthy. You can use some almond butter on this. You could make some ants on a log. You can chop this up and put this in your salad. Celery is just like a great, great vegetable to have and snack on. I picked up some lemons and some limes because I'm going to be using this to flavor up my water. I'm getting really tired of just drinking plain water, you guys, so I'm trying to come up with different ways to freshen up my water without using my Mio Drops because Mio Drops is something that I have always used in the past. And unfortunately, because of the, I think there's stevia in there or there's some kind of sweetener in the Mio Drops that is not Whole30 approved. So I have not been using my Mio Drops, so I've been trying to get really creative. So I'm hoping that these lemon and lime additions to my water this week will just give me a nice little refresher that I'm looking for. I picked up a container of baby spinach. I use baby spinach in basically everything. I've talked about that several times here on my channel, but I like to use this for salads. I also use this uh, in breakfast items and different meals. Anywhere I can add some spinach, I'm basically going to be adding some spinach, guys. And then I also picked up this spaghetti squash. I think I'm going to be doing some meatballs this week. So I wanted to do uh, meatball spaghetti squash bowls and utilize the actual squash itself. So I'm super excited for that. So some of the condiments that I picked up this week include this coconut milk. I did go ahead and get the full fat coconut milk. You don't want to skimp and get the light coconut milk when you're on this diet. You want to use all of the benefits from that nice creamy fattiness in the coconut milk so I got that and then I also picked up this uh, Thai kitchen red curry paste because I'm going to be using these two together to actually make a chicken Thai like curry dish so I'm really excited for this I also picked up some Frank's Red Hot's um, original I had the Buffalo Frank's but I found out that that's actually not compliant so I went ahead and picked up the original which the ingredients in this is just aged cayenne red pepper, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. So I'm gonna use this to like spice up my foods and add it to mayos for like dipping sauce and things like that. I did pick up this Thai kitchen fish sauce, but I actually found out that this is not Whole30 approved. So what I'm going to be doing is using some anchovy paste and some coconut aminos and just mash that together to replicate this fish sauce because I do need a little bit of fish sauce for that mung bean salad that I'm going to be making. So yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but that is one of the things about Whole30. You have to be really vigilant about reading ingredients. I didn't do so until I got home and just started preparing to film this video. So lesson learned and learn from my mistakes. Just read the ingredients list, figure out everything that is not Whole30 approved. Take a snapshot on your phone so while you're out at the grocery store, you don't have to second guess or question or use Google, that kind of thing you already know. I 
I also yeah. picked up several meats. So I did pick up this huge family package of chicken thighs because I'm, I love chicken thighs. I feel like they're really nice and tender and you do eat a lot of meats on this diet. So I love chicken thighs. I also picked up a family size package of ground beef because I'm gonna be using this to make my meatballs this week. So we needed a nice serving of ground beef and I will actually separate this into maybe three servings. I'll split it in three and I'll keep the rest in Ziploc bags because between me and my husband and my two kids, I'd say this four pound package of meat would maybe make us three family meals. I picked up this beef bottom round thinly sliced steak because I'm going to be making some steak and gold and pepper bites. So it's going to be thinly sliced and chopped steak with lots of good seasoning with peppers and potatoes, sweet potatoes. You guys don't wanna miss out because I am going to be filming this recipe. This is super delicious. I had it last week or the week before that and absolutely loved it so much that I went ahead and purchased this meat again so that I can recreate it because it was that good. So guys, that's everything that I picked up this week in my grocery haul. I hope that this gave you guys some good ideas and I hope that it inspired you to definitely take a peek through the produce section of your grocery store and just kind of get go wild and creative. And I hope that y'all got some good ideas. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope you consider hitting that red subscribe button so that you can join the fam and that you don't miss any videos from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.